Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on downloading, installing, and getting started with your first project in GitHub. So, first thing you need to do is to download Git. Um, in here, you find the version that you want, download it, and then whatever you need to do from there. So, after you've installed it, the next thing you want to do is go to your GitHub. Now, in here, right now, we're going to create a new repository. We're going to call it test repo. So let's go ahead and create that. So we've got this empty repository here now. So this right here is is the most important thing right now. So we'll copy that. That is going to be the address to our repository. So let's go ahead into the folder that we're going to use and you can either open it like this or there are other ways of doing it. So first let's go ahead, we'll bottom line that and we'll do a git clone and then we'll enter that address because git bash does not support pasting. github.com forward slash taxi7 test repo dot git. All right. So now that we've done that, you can see that we've got this folder here and it's empty. So let's go ahead. I've created these three text files just to pre-make them for this video. So we'll copy them in there. We can see that they're in. Now back in Git, we'll do an ls to list everything that's in. So let's go ahead and go into the test repo and then ls. So now that we're inside of the folder that is the that's our clone of the repository. We can see that we've got the three text files. Now, if we do a git status, that will tell us files that we've created, changed, modified, or deleted, as well as files that we've added to be staged to be committed. So right now you can see we've got three untracked files and what that means is when you push it to your repository those won't go with. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do it is I will show you how to add a file. So let's get started. We'll do a git add and then we'll do we'll just put testfile1.txt. So if we do another git status you can see that we've added test file 1 and test file 2 and 3 are still unstaged. So what we're going to want to do if we want to expedite this and you'll often have this where you create a bunch of files and then you now have to add them all. So we'll do a git add dash capital A. Now what that does if we run is it does all of the files that are in there and untracked and that is the easiest way to make a whole bunch of changes, add them all, and stage them for commit. So since we've staged them, let's go ahead and commit. So we'll do a git commit dash m and put in a some sort of commit message. Now generally what you'll want to do here is this is a message that's when you push the change to the repository, the point at which your fires, files are at right here will have this message that says uh, you'll generally want to put kind of a change like what you did in these changes that you're committing now. So we've done that. Now let's go ahead and git push dash u origin master. And that's saying that we want to push it to the master branch using the the remote origin. Um, and that, that will make a lot of sense later on. Um, so let's go ahead and push. It'll ask us for our credentials. And there we go. So you can see that it pushed it to the master. And then, so now let's go ahead, go back into our GitHub and refresh. As you can see, the three files are there. I've only put the word test file one in each of them. Um, so 